Time for Benji, did you know? Uh, David Arquette welcomed his second son, Charlie West, on Monday. Speaking of Charlie, mm-hmm. I was in uh, Carney on Friday, and do you know that I saw my dog's twin, Charlie? Really? You would think that there would be no twin to my dog. Your dog is kind of, um, well, special. And my dog's name is Charlie, and yes. there's no dog that would possibly look like him. And Rose is like, look, there's Charlie. I'm like, whoa, that does look like Charlie. <laughs> Uh, last Sunday night's episode of The Simpsons was mm-hmm. the lowest ever rated in the history of the show. Only 3.4 million viewers turned in. Could it be the end? I don't know. I don't think so. I See, I normally watch it, but I just I was busy last weekend, so I didn't get a chance. So you know NBC did the live performance of The Sound of Music? Yes. Well, Fox, they are going to do a performance of the live musical Grease. That is correct. And that is going to be next year. City of Chicago decided to build a new high school. Mm-hmm. Why not name it after President Obama? Why not? So he's going to get his own high school. President Barack Obama High School. It is uh, time for your question of the morning being brought to you by our friends at the Yankton Walmart, city of your choice. Of course, new music came out yesterday, so always a good time to get a new CD. And that extreme car wash, that car spiffy clean, so it gets some sunshiny weather. You can correctly answer this question at 800 367 1041. I think this question's easy this morning, but each time I say it's easy, it's hard. Mm hmm. So, for what it's worth, 66% of adults say they use this, they use one of these, even though they are initially designed for kids. <laughs> um. 66% of adults say <laughs> they use one of these, even though they're initially designed for kids. What are we talking about? I'm going to say a trampoline. I would love to see you. On a, tram- I, on a trampoline. I am awesome on the trampoline. I, would I can do like, you know, you. I can do like the where you fall backwards and then like end up right back up again. Like I can do that. Can't necessarily when do flips. When you're on the trampoline, uh-huh. just, do you do you hear the trampoline going out, 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 out? No, but I do hear the nice snap of when it breaks. <laughs> <laughs> there goes another spring. It's okay. That's what, uh, that's what my trampoline does. Sixty-six percent of adults say they use one of these, even though they initially are designed for kids. What are we talking about? Hi, right, question of the morning. Do you have an answer? Yeah, hi. Is it a game console? A game <laughs> console? Do yeah. you Do you have a game console that should uh, be for the kids? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Xbox. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, is it game console? <laughs> nope. Sorry. All righty. Thank you. You know, interesting enough, I was actually playing my Nintendo 64 last night. Ah. Uh, question of the morning. Do you have an answer? I'd say an Xbox or PlayStation. So a game console. Yes, sir. Actually, we just had that answered, and oh, uh, it is darn. incorrect. You want to take okay, another guess? Thanks. Oh, man. No, I. that's the first thing that popped into my head, but I'll have to call back if I think of something. 800-367-1041 is the number to call. Now, you know, uh, here a couple weeks back, mm-hmm. I went to go buy the girlfriend an Atari system because she really wants an Atari. Could you find one? Um, Well, the place that usually has them mm-hmm. didn't have one that day. I've got an online website for you if you're yeah. interested. So, um, yeah, I'm still going to buy it for her. Well, we, yeah. I ended up leaving with... Because uh, how awesome is Atari? I mean, you got Pong, you got the doink, doink. Doink. Ended up leaving with uh, an NES, so. Mm. Mm. Maybe I'm coming over. She's been addicted to that. Uh, gee, wonder why. 66% of adults say they use one of these, even though they initially are designed for kids. I right, question in the morning. Do you have an answer? Uh, is it ripstick or pogo stick? <laughs> <laughs> you know. I still like to do the pogo stick, but I tell you what, a fat man on a pogo stick don't look very good. See, I go pogo on it and it just stays down. It doesn't come back up. <laughs> okay. Is, Is that it a pogo stick? Is it a pogo stick? <laughs> no.
Nope, sorry, not a pogo stick, but good guess. Okay. All right, question of the morning. Do you have an answer? Electric toothbrush. An electric toothbrush. Yeah. But don't adults, don't they make those for adults now, too? Oh, uh, maybe. I, I got I got a couple of those. I know more adults that use the electric toothbrush than kids. I know, right? Yeah. All right, well, let's see. Is it an electric toothbrush? <laughs> no, sorry, not the electric toothbrush, but a good guess. Thank you. Hi, right, question of the morning. Do you have an answer? Yes, is it trampoline? You want to go with Benji's answer and the trampoline? <laughs> Yeah, would it happen to be board games? Board games. <laughs> I still play board games to this day. You know that uh, I love them. Benji's favorite game is Monopoly. Monopoly. You shut Third your face. <laughs> <laughs> is it board games? <laughs> nope, not board games. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. You bet. Come on. You know you love Monopoly. Monopoly sucks. <laughs> Hi, question of the morning. Do you have an answer? Is it a piggy bank? Is it a piggy bank? You know, I don't have a piggy bank anymore, but for the longest time, I actually still kept my change. Actually, in, uh, it was like a little statue of, um, well, I can't even remember what it was. It was like the Hawkeye, like the the site, not the, the, what do you even call it? Yeah, that yeah, thing. Yeah, the thing. We have a Dallas Cowboys jar. Uh, and we gross. put all our change in it. It's almost full. Most time tick to the bank. But uh, 60% of adults say they use one of these, even though they initially are designed for kids. The answer? Ding, 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 ding. A piggy bank. <laughs> Talked about uh, this here before. Couples okay. who uh, snuggle in bed. Yes. As they sleep or happier than couples who sleep apart without touching. That is true. Actually, they say the closer that you sleep together, the happier you are. If you are within an inch of each other, you are extremely happy. Otherwise, if you roll over on your opposite sides of the bed or whatever, uh, not even facing each other, you should pretty much it, just end it right there. I, I don't really think it matters. Really? You yeah. don't think it matters? Yeah, no, I don't think so. Because, like, here's the deal. My girlfriend has, like, really odd sleeping times, you know? Yeah. Like, yesterday she slept, like, most of the day. Therefore, mm-hmm. she didn't go to bed at the same time I did. And I do go to bed at different times than she does because I go to bed much earlier because I get up way earlier than she does. That's true. So that really wouldn't kind of affect us. Yeah, yes and no. But 42% of couples who do sleep back to back. Mm-hmm. There are 31% of couples who sleep facing the same direction. I really don't care which way I sleep. See, my problem is... I tall, sneak turn. And I do the same thing. Like, literally, I cannot sleep anymore. Like, it, it's... I'm lucky if I don't wake up more than 10 times. They say only 12% of couples sleep less than an inch apart. That means only 12% of people are happy. Well, look at the divorce rate. That's actually probably pretty close. They say that creative people are more likely to sleep on their left side. Now, here's what's really weird. If I take a nap, <laughs> if I take a nap in the afternoon, uh-huh. I'll sleep on my left side. Really? And at night, I usually sleep, sleep on my on right, right side. But then again, you also sleep on the right side of the bed, though. So therefore, you're going to be facing the wall rather than but facing it, your girlfriend. But it doesn't it doesn't but really matter what... on which side of the bed I sleep. I've slept on both sides of the bed. See now, are you one of so you are not one of those people where you have to have your side of the bed? Um, well, technically, yes, but it doesn't doesn't really matter. I want to know how many people actually have their like one side of the bed. Like, I want to know that statistic. How many people well, have to have that one side? On her side of the bed, I got my my side of the bed. See, and that's but we can but we can switch. See, I've it never switched. Matter. Even now that I don't have a girl living with me, me, I still sleep on the same side. She tells me we should switch all the time. Time for Benji Did You Know and uh, Craig Ferguson. Yes. He announced he is leaving the Late Show in uh, December after uh, 10 years of hosting. He announced it uh, last night. Yep. Uh, police in Connecticut say Paul Simon and wife Edie Burkell have been arrested on disorderly conduct charges <laughs> stemming from a family dispute. Might have read that yesterday. It was plastered all over the internet like that was some big news. You know what the funny part is? Hmm. You and me were just talking about Carrie Fisher. Right. She was actually married to Paul Simon at one time. I know, right? That's just weird. Uh, speaking of Carrie Fisher, a big announcement about the Star Wars movie is supposed to come out Sunday, May 4th as the 4th Be With You. 
might have something to do with Carrie Fisher and or the three top actors of the movie being in London. Hmm. Uh, Netflix is uh, inking a deal with uh, Chelsea Harder on a new uh, on a new show. Okay. Uh, Duck Dynasty could be in for a cancellation. Wow. The ratings don't pick up. There is almost, there's just so much rich redneck that you can televise See, with ducks. Well, not only ducks, but then you also got the whole, you know, uh, buck wild. You got, right. you know, all that. Just Happy, happy, happy. You know, I, I get it. You know, they are marketing geniuses because they sell all this stuff for, you know. Yeah. Uh, you see Doug Dynasty stuff everywhere. I think everyone's just getting to the point where we're just but like, you know, I'm sick of it. Most of the Duck Dynasty stuff you see everywhere mm -hmm. is on clearance. That's true. There are certain things that you get into and then you get out of. Then you get back into it. Then you get out of. Twitter is one of those things for me. Yeah. Like, I am on Twitter right now. I have not really used Twitter in the past, like, six, eight months or so. And then now, all of a sudden, just, bam, just come back full force. Tweet, 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 tweet. Do you tweet? No. You don't even have a Twitter, do you? I do. You do have a Twitter. I do have a Are Twitter. Are you one of those? They say roughly about 60% of all Twitter accounts have not They have an account, but they have never tweeted. No, I I, I had a uh, Twitter account because I was required to have one in a former, former job that I had. You should start a backup and tweet. Mm, I don't. I'm just, yeah. Did you ever tweet? Did okay. you ever tweet? Twitter. Uh-huh. Here's an example of Twitter. Okay. I'm going to the bathroom. Now, see, now that's not even close to me. Like, I just sent out a big... Uh, I'm sitting on John. No, no, see, because I just sent out a tweet that said, congratulations to our winner, Lori Kaiser, of course, of Lamar's. I'm for pulling picking my up pants back to, up. You know, you don't have to tweet just all that random stuff. I am walking out of the bathroom door. Uh, you are... You were impossible. <laughs> I'm in the kitchen. Well, here's the thing. If you want to follow us on Twitter, of course, 1041 The Wolf has got a Twitter as I'm well. I'm washing my dishes. At 1041 The Wolf. Check us out. Like us. Follow us on there. And you I can am also, drying uh, my dishes. Follow me on Twitter as well. At Benji Knight on the radio. What I is am wrong putting my with dishes you? away. You are, yeah, you are an idiot. I am making Kool-Aid. That's Ooh, Twitter. You know what? Yeah. That actually does sound really good. Let's should go make some Kool-Aid. This or that... We'll give you uh, two things, and myself and Benji have to pick one. Yes. Uh, two choices here. Seafood or vegetarian? <laughs> Seafood. Because, like, crab, lobster, that thing. Yeah. I'm not a big fish fan, but I'm definitely not a vegetarian fan either. Uh, seafood, for sure. Yeah. Uh, cable TV or satellite? Well, I would say cable... But uh, I don't know. I think the cable is a little bit more reliable, but mm -hmm. uh, satellites definitely got more choices. So I'm going to have to go cable. I was in uh, Best Buy yesterday, uh -huh. and there was must have been a new guy there trying to sell satellite. He had no idea that I was an employee there. Yeah. He came up trying to sell me satellite. <laughs> and then someone finally came up and said, hey, that guy's an employee. He works here. I, I'll just go with neither because I don't have either. But yeah, if neither, I had I, to go with either one, I guess it would be cable. See, I've got cable internet, so that's why. Mornings or afternoons? <laughs> see, I'm not a morning person, which is hilarious because I do a morning radio show. Yeah. But uh, I actually, I would say more evenings than uh, than afternoon. So I'm going to have to say late afternoon. Mornings for me. Yeah. Um, well, there's three here. Okay. Beef, pork, or chicken. Beef. Is there any other? Chicken. Well, yeah, you and chicken, but me uh, and steak. Being attacked by a zombie or <laughs> a mummy? Um, I'm gonna have to say mummy because if a mummy bites you, it's just a mummy bite, and it's not you're gonna you're not gonna be mummified. So I'm just gonna go with zombie and get it over with. That way, I can go attack other people. Ah, uh, brain. Yeah. See, but you would never be attacked by a zombie because they require brains. Uh, regular yogurt or Greek yogurt? Um, neither? Greek, I'm not a fan of yogurt. Greek yogurt is nasty. See, I've never it's had disgusting. it. It's disgusting. I've only had regular yogurt like three times in my life because I refuse to eat it because it's gross. Uh, let's see. Uh, grocery store, paper, plastic, or reusable bags. There's three choices there. 
Well, here's the thing is that uh, I would say like reusable bags, but I never remember to take them. See, so, the girlfriend likes the reusable bags. I'll go with the plastic. I would say plastic just because like, in that way, then you can like throw it away. I don't like, like uh, the paper because it attracts cockroaches. And it like rips. Ah, uh, let's see. Peas or carrots? Peas. Peas. Yeah. I, like, I like peas. I know the answer to this one for okay. you. Uh, would it be the uh, playoffs of uh, NBA or hockey? We've already discussed this. Hockey all the way. Ice cream or frozen yogurt? Ice cream. Ice cream all Nothing the way. Nothing beats the, the original. I just read something, and this makes me extremely sad. You know yeah. Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Yes. Great movie. Unfortunately, uh, bad, bad, bad thing this morning was the fact uh, the guy that played Eddie Valiant. Yes. Of course, named Bob Hoskins, passed away this morning at the age of 71. Yeah. He's bad young. day. Yeah. I like you know what? I'm gonna go, go home sooner or later. I'm gonna go home tonight after drinks have to work, and I'm gonna watch Roger Rabbit in mem- in memorandum of him. Okay, you do that. Yes. Do you have the movie? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, good. High definition, Blu-ray quality. Good, because if you didn't have Blu-ray, it, it would be totally be unworth to it. it. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's what makes me a movie snap. It has to be high def. Chance to win uh, some fabulous tickets. We're talking tickets to check out We Fast and Winstock to fabulous artists like Toby Keith, Rascal Flatts, Jared Neiman, Billy Currington, Daniel Bradbury, Zach Brown Band, Florida Georgia Line, Jason Aldean, Brad Paisley, just to name a few. That's just a handful of the fantastic artists you can check out. And all you need to do is be a Wolf Club member. That's it. Boom. Very simple. Text the word WOLF, W-O-L-F, right now to 77,000, W-O-L-F, WOLF, and join the text club. You can get, win a pair of tickets to either Winstock mm-hmm. or WeFast, mm-hmm. or better yet, you can win tickets to both. Huh. Mm-hmm. And all you got to do is be a WOLF club member. If you already are a WOLF club member, then you're entered to win. It's that simple. If you don't know if you are a WOLF club member, then text the word WOLF. That's it. There's 77,000. It's that simple. Yeah. That's all. And then sit and wait for us to call you. Because we're going to do that sooner or later. Wolf, (laughs) W-O-L-F, text it to 77,000 right now. Become a Wolf Club member. I tell you what, becoming a Wolf Club member, it is the greatest country club in the world. You know, the best part is, is that not only uh, do they all, they're going to get some good things, but then also we're going to be giving some giveaways via the text club as well. So join right now. Great club contests and great offers from the Wolf Club. Uh, again, all you got to do is be a member. W-O-L-F. Text that right now to 77,000. All right, it's time for your duty head story of the day. It goes to Gwyneth Days, uh, Davies, 47, or I'm sorry, not Gwyneth. <laughs> Garth. Garth. I Gwyneth. am going to learn how I mean, Garth. To <laughs> See, here's the deal. I've never taken the Hooked on Phonics out of the box yet. You know, maybe you need to. It's an Arizona man who had his music collection and stereo taken away after ignoring a noise ban. See, he angered his neighbors in the development by repeatedly blasting Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On, James Brown, Love Machine, and the theme song to Toy Story during an afternoon and evening hours. Mm-hmm. Ignoring the, well, rules yeah. of a noise ordinance, Continuing to play over and over and over again his three favorite songs. Finally, the police were called. They stepped in and seized all of his equipment, including his PlayStation 3, TV speakers, and numerous DVDs and CDs. Oh. Sad day. Uh, that's what you get, Gwyneth. I mean, Garth. You know, I'm not going to lie. I remember one time I had, uh, it was my home stereo. Mm-hmm. And I guess it was a little too loud, and my neighbor called the police on me. Yeah. I've only had that happen once, but it was with a DJ system. And I went, <laughs> I went and I got my DJ system with my big subs, and mm-hmm. I hooked it up. Yep. And I turned it on. Mm-hmm. And I pissed my neighbors off something stupid, and I just did not give a damn. I had the cops call on me on a Sunday afternoon at 5 p.m. during the summer. <laughs> It was impressive. The morning house cell box this morning. So what do you think? What do you think should happen to this guy? Do you think that he should be forced to actually sell the team and not be a part of the NBA anymore? Do you think that is uh, maybe that's a little bit too harsh? Do you think that maybe he should be able to keep the team and then just have a huge fine 
like that should be penalized with this whole entire thing? Or do you think that, you know, since he was recorded without knowledge, that it was kind of a private conversation, that you don't think that anything should really happen to him and that, you know, this is kind of violating, you know, uh, his rights? Okay, this guy right here, first off, is... I, I don't even know how to describe him, but not only does he have a girlfriend, he has a wife. So, like, you know, obviously, you know, whatever. Does his wife know she, he has a girlfriend? Supposedly, but then again, she's also been kind of, like, trying to sue this girl because the fact that, you know, he's been buying her all this stuff. Well, supposedly they've been together for four years, but him and his wife have been married for a long, long time. But the funny part is, is that his girlfriend is actually a mixed race. Sounds like his girlfriend is she's a Lati- to she's a Latina date other people as well. She's a Latina, and it, it's you know, and he said, you know, I don't care what you do. He's like, you can sleep with them. He's like, you can you know, hang out with them all you want. He's like, just don't post it on you know, online for other people to see. And he's like, and don't bring them to my basketball games. And I I, I do believe as Americans that we are a little bit overly sensitive yes. on certain things yes, we are. on certain I'm not, things. I'm not saying that he he did the wrong thing. He did not use. Racial words? But then again, also in the business that he works in, though, I mean, this guy was actually up for, like, he was going to be getting, like, a humanitarian award from the NCAA, uh, the NC, uh, NAACP, the, the NAACP, NAACP right. there we go. Understood. Yeah. So he was supposed to be getting that, and now they're taking back the award, saying, nope, we're not going to give it to him after and all these remakes. sponsors are dropping. Sponsors are dropping yeah. the team, so on and so forth. So the question is, do you think that he should be ousted? Do you think that he should be forced to actually and this sell the team? This isn't the first person that has all this money and ownership that has not said something in reference to this. This is what the funny part is, is that supposedly this is a very well-known fact from where he's from that he is this way. I wanted to uh, yeah, comment about the Clippers thing. Yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah, I, mean, I don't think anything should happen with him because they will be violating his First Amendment rights to actually be able to say what you want to say when you want to say it, you know? I, uh, the thing is, is, if it was at a press conference, it'd be one thing. He was talking to his girlfriend right. at home. Right. That is exactly on the money what he said.